Hello, sixth graders, and happy Wednesday. We are cruising through the week. We are five days away from winter break, and I hope each and every one of you are still working extremely hard out there, doing your very best, being respectful, responsible, and safe, and being a good titan uh, while we count down to this break. It doesn't mean that we stop working. We have lots of work and lots of things to do. So as if we haven't heard these reminders enough, here I am yet again to remind you what is expected in the cafeteria. I hope that someday soon we're gonna understand these and actually follow through on these so that things can change in there. We are expected to come in and go straight to our seats. Sit down. When the whistle blows and Miss Yonner counts down, we're expected to be quiet for like a second. We just need, it just, it, everyone comes in really loud and we just need everyone to get quiet and start from there with their talking so that the cafeteria doesn't end up too loud at the end of lunch. Very seldom do we have announcements. Usually if I'm in there, it's me telling you that you're not getting quiet and you're staying in assigned seats and blah, 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 blah. If you would just get quiet, you wouldn't have to keep listening to that. The second thing is that you wait until your row or table is called to go get your lunch. This is an ever-growing problem where we have people just getting up. Oh, I thought she called me. No, she didn't call you. You need to pay attention. And just because the table next to you gets up, if you don't see Miss Yonner or whoever's dismissing tables and they haven't specifically told your table to go, it doesn't mean you get to go just because someone else is getting up. Maybe they're also not following the rules and now both tables are gonna be in trouble. You are kind and respectful as you're going through the lunch line. You come out of the lunch line and you go back to your seat. You stay in your seat while lunch is going on. If you need help, you raise your hand. And when it's time to clean up, you throw your trash away and you go back to your seat. You wait and you leave when your row is dismissed. These are not difficult tasks. I do not understand why we are having such a hard time with this, but we have to get better at this, whether or not I am in the cafeteria. So they know, Miss, Miss Meyer actually last Friday came over to me and she said, I looked around and I thought she must be in here somewhere. She is a staff member in this building who deserves the same amount of respect that you give me. And I appreciate that when I'm in there, you sit down, you do what you're supposed to do, but you should be doing that all the time. It makes me very sad that, cause that is frustrating for the adults. You need to be doing what you're supposed to be doing all the time. Not just when you see me, not just when I'm in the cafeteria. Please, please, please let's fix this problem, okay? All right, two different notes. Uh, the first one is tomorrow's spirit day for our winter spirit week week going over the weekend is uh, winter gear. So flannel, socks, hats, things like that. Um, you are supposed to wear your winter gear. And our kindness, our Christmas kindness challenge going into uh, for today is to help somebody. So that could be at home. It could be you help your mom or dad. You do the dishes, you take out the trash without them asking you to or even do it just without arguing if maybe you normally argue. Uh, run the vacuum cleaner, dust, whatever it might be, clean up your bedroom. Or here at school where you help someone who dropped something or you help someone with their work or um, you are extra kind, whatever that might look like, but I want you to do something for somebody, help somebody in another, in a way today. That is your challenge. All right. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow. Titans pledge. As a Titan, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. I pledge to pursue excellence, live with integrity, and act with purpose.